Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, I, along with the rest of the world, fell quickly in love with Ren a couple months ago when we all first heard Hi Ren. The internet exploded, and rightfully so. It was truly something that I don't think I've seen done before. It was a breath of fresh air, and it was really enlightening to see someone be so true and honestly very raw and very vulnerable in front of other people. I feel like that's something that a lot of people are too scared to do. And in doing so, he's really helped and guided others along the way and maybe made them realize that they needed help and started opening up some old wounds that needed to be closed for quite some time. And I truly, truly, truly admire him for that. Um, staying true to his craft and honestly, just being so incredibly humble and obviously very talented. But I cannot wait to continue down this rabbit hole. You guys really want me to listen to Chalk Outlines for a long time. I kept seeing Renek Chinchilla in my comments, so I feel like it's finally time to tackle it. So thank you for the recommendation. Uh, before I press play, though, if you do enjoy this content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with Chalk Outlines by Ren and Chinchilla. It's always a cringy basement. I feel so anxious. I don't think I've seen him play electric before. It's tone. I'm still here in this bed that I crawled in. I hope that I'm someone else in the morning. So take this one, wash it down and you'll be fine Walk around in a floating chalk outline So
Yeah, um, I get why you guys were pushing for me to listen to this for such a long time. I felt like, oh, that last part, I feel like it almost felt like every single ounce of oxygen just completely left my body. Like I got punched in the stomach and I was just gasping for air. It truly just feels like you're soaking all of this in and it's so beautiful. It's so sad. And it's so interesting how the way the contrast and the maladies, you kind of feel like you hear Ren and then you hear her. You hear her just kind of like, wailing and screaming and you feel that anger and that frustration building up even though they're singing the same chorus you can tell the intensity is is you know brewing and you really truly feel every single word i felt it all over it was just automatically just such chilling and haunting and beautiful it was every little it's such a confusing thing to feel you just you don't know whether to cry to to smile to pass out it, it's crazy I, I i really feel like this was just honestly a duo that I've been needing for so long and I I, I really feel so many damn emotions right now but ah, the meaning of that was just so dark and I felt it I felt it I truly felt every single thing kind of that feeling that you have to force yourself to shove your feelings you know down and, and put them into this small little pretty box with a bow on it but you don't even know what it's like to be okay and it's it's weird it's such a weird thing and I, I felt that in my fucking core but Wow, incredible, absolutely incredible again. I have so much to say, but I need to catch my breath here because I'm feeling just so much at the all at once. Um, but yeah, as always, let's just dissect this further. I sadly really related to this song. I have had to take pills before for my anxiety and my depression. And it was really weird feeling at the time. I was very young and I struggled with it because I didn't even want to take them. They made me feel like a different person and it helped for a little bit, but then I just felt out of my body i didn't feel like myself and it was just such a weird traumatizing experience weirdly i was so young and it was so strong and i had no idea what it was like to feel normal and being in a normal state with these pills it kind of felt like i didn't even know what to feel it felt like i was just watching myself exist in my life like i'm some guardian angel or something watching myself like a sims character or something it was really weird but I, I understand that how you struggle with your feelings and you have to wash it down with something, but you don't know, uh, you don't want to feel normal because the fucked up sides of you are all you know. And it's just this weird mental cycle where you're just kind of like a little hamster going in this wheel chasing and desperately running for some sanity. And you just feel kind of trapped inside this own cage that you've made inside your own mind. It's such a weird thing. I, I don't know really how else to explain it. And I really needed this. I didn't know what the, the song or the lyrics were going to be about, uh, but I really connected with it so deeply. I think this was the first time I actually had heard Ren do a guitar, uh, electric guitar. I've always seen him do acoustics and it, it felt like he was, you know, kind of like a bar doing some ballads. And, you know, we were getting very theatrical. But with this, it felt like a very different thing. It felt like no theatrics, no nothing. It was just pure raw. And you really felt every single thing that they were singing. Again, like I mentioned, Chinchilla's voice, the way that it was just getting higher and higher and a little bit more aggressive. And you feel that intensity, that kind of heat rising in her. And you feel like she is truly, you know, just frustrated with what she's going through. And it really makes that so much more intense. And it makes the meaning that more, you know, powerful. You know, it's so raw and powerful and vulnerable. And 
I loved every second of it, the way they harmonized together. It was honestly one of the most beautiful things I've seen in such a long time. But I wanted to clarify on the meaning of chalk outline, because uh, if we all watch, you know, CSI, all of those shows, we are aware that the chalk outline is what you see when a person has been, you know, murdered, deceased, and they kind of do an outline. So I don't know if that has any correlation to the thoughts that he has had with, you know, suicide and depression and maybe him feeling like he's just going to draw something temporarily. I'm not too sure on that. So if anyone knows the meaning, if he's talked about it, I would really love to know because that was the only thing I was just trying to piece. But the pills itself and all of the message, the meaning, the frustration, I really, really resonated with that. And I hope other people felt that way as well. And it felt maybe like they weren't alone. And I feel like uh, it's a weird thing. It's something nobody really likes to talk about, you know, especially back then. And I had a Hispanic parent, so I did get made fun of when I had to take my medicine. So it was a really daunting time. But now that it's being more well-spoken, I really, truly admire Ren for using his enormous platform to help others speak on his own mental health and make other people feel like they're not alone in this journey and they can be okay to ask for help and reach out and speak up and on their mind and, you know, not have to take their lives. But I mean, I'm really, really happy for that. And I'm glad that I saw this video. I feel like I feel like I'm normal. I feel like it's okay and I'm going to be okay. And I mentioned before, existing can be exhausting, but, you know, it's it's just going to get better with time. It's very cliche, but I really have felt a lot better than I did when I was younger. So I wish I could kind of look at old or, or younger me and kind of tell her that everything was going to be okay. Um, but wow, another masterpiece from Ren. I am just absolutely floored again. I feel like my jaw has dropped every single time and you know, he never disappoints. He never misses. And I can't con uh, wait to continue to, you know, join him along his musical journey because, I mean, it's honestly like a huge little gift that we all received this year. And I can't wait to hear more. Um, but thank you. Let me know what you thought about this song. Let me know your input. What You know, if it had a different meaning to you, let me know as well. If you have any other input, I would love to hear it with you guys. But if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Glad to get to know you guys on there. We are very close-knit, very welcoming. We talk a lot about mental health and music live. We do play games together and do live reactions there as well. But other than that, I have videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And on the next one, I'll catch you soon. Bye!